Oh. What were you saying to him right off the bat? Well, hi there. Come on in. Hey! 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 Thank you. Well, so you guys didn't have anything better to do? <laughs> yeah, please. Hey, we could have watched the game. I know. I watched the game. Hey, how are you? Thank you. I'm watching. I'm showing behind you. I'll help you first. How are you? Thank you. Isn't it fun? Happy birthday. Go give me a kiss. A camera? Take my picture. <laughs> and through Randine and Wayne, and who were good friends, and choir, and then of course we also had children near the same ages, and our sons were in the same fraternity, and so it's been fun going through the years, and yes, right, interweaving. <laughs> Soccer. Soccer. Kick a bag in But anyway, about 30, 35 years, I think. And went through all the throw with. For a group I am both. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, and uh, we, uh, I guess the easiest way to say this is, is Will and I were both Trailwood mothers together. <laughs> we're all the other mothers. Thank you. <laughs> what did he do, I forget? <laughs> what did he do? Who? Paul? You remember the last, see this is the thing that's interesting is that I had, she did the same thing to me on my 40th birthday. It took Ten years ago. It, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I wish. It took 30 years to figure out how to do it again. But Paul and Nancy were there amongst some other people and as I recall Paul did a wonderful dance with the belly dancer that was there. <laughs> Well, I'm not sure I remember that. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and Nancy's from Lawrence. Those of you that are from Lawrence, Nancy, 
The chesty lion. There you go. Oh, that's Lauren's high school yearbook, and you would like to see maybe pictures of Ruthann and Will. And I noticed that she asked Will to the, what is it? WPA. WPA. And there is their picture. There's juniors at Lauren's high school. It's close. And seniors at Lauren's high school. So we had great fun times. If you want to see. But we are also amongst the Trailwood kids and and soccer and scouts and what all and it was just a great fun time. So happy birthday. Thank you. Still is. <laughs> Dick McKeach, and I'm with her and all that stuff that she said, plus she forgot the Indian guys and everything. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Are you hearing all this, Michael? <laughs> Next table. Uh, Chuck Hartman, I met Will at a coffee shop about, I don't know how many years ago. They know I've been coffee buddies ever since. So, probably 10, 15 years ago. At least. He's my older he's my friend. He, he, he's my older friend, right? Yeah, and by answering the phone, when yeah. I say to my husband, if it's your mom's boyfriend, you come and play. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Bob, and this is my wife, Judy Berrickman. We've known Will probably for about 20 years from the coffee shop, and I'm the mediator between the two killers on the golf course. Yeah. <laughs> the and he also takes care of us when we have car accidents. There you go. Which isn't very often. That, but that's when it's his 40th birthday. Every 30 years. Year. <laughs> year. I'm Gene Reed, and I have uh, known Will, uh, oh, uh, I don't know how many years, but we read the paper together at Pepper Dicks. And, uh, and we also worked a little bit at Dicks uh, when we both show up. And uh, this is my wife, Mary Ann, and happy birthday. Thank you. And tell, tell them about our, our daughter in law, Robin, who's over at this table, and you'll meet them in it. Tell them how you know Robin. Oh, I, yeah, I knew I knew uh, I knew Robin from her uh, her grandfather. Uh, I, I believe it was a grand slow mo. Oh, slow mo, yeah. He uh, he was uh, a member at Melbourne when I was at Melbourne, and and uh, he played so slow that we called him slow mo. And, uh, uh, but he used to have a pipe. He smoked a pipe all the time. And he was a pretty good golfer, and he laid that pipe down on the tee, aiming it down a fairway. And I know that's what he was doing, trying to aim his ball down a fairway. He wouldn't, he, he wouldn't, uh, uh, he denied that. But anyway, that's how I know Robin. <laughs> Yes, we did. And uh, I think what I liked about it was you were about as slow as I, I, I was. And <laughs> once in a while, I could be. Once in a while, I could be. Another slow mo. Uh, uh, well, I'm but, trying to get over that, you know. But, uh, from one old geezer to another old geezer, happy birthday. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Alex? Me? Well, Mary and Ollie Elisa, and we have had the pleasure of living next door to Ruth and Ruth Ann and Will for about 15 years now, and we wish you a very, very happy birthday. Well, thank you. We, we're glad you're here. <laughs> I called my son looking around the yard today, and they didn't even come over and talk to you. No. <laughs> well, I'm Bob Coleman, and this is my wife, Sandy. We've known uh, Will for many years, I think through church right. and choir sat together singing. The strangest thing though was um, he was concerned that he was getting older and he came to me for a facelift. <laughs> 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 
the strange thing, he had these architectural plans. <laughs> well, you never change. You realize that. That's not true. Well, you you have some of my plans, but it was on your house. And you were the one who suggested that you might be able to help me out with it. Oh. <laughs> well, Bob's a plastic surgeon. For those <laughs> if you haven't gathered, yeah, happy birthday! Thank you. <laughs> He's always fun at church. <laughs> Yeah, I'll introduce myself. I didn't say hi already. I'm Mike Owens. I have, uh, this is Evan and Robin and Meyer, the youngest folks here. We also, I have another, uh, I guess, unique quality. Um, I'm probably the only one in the room who didn't have a choice that they knew about. <laughs> so it's impressive that the rest of you showed up. <laughs> You also uh, saw the Pink Flamingos. Back when we were kids growing up, we uh, thought it was absolutely bizarre, um, but funny, that uh, some of us uh, during dinner would start hearing music outside and would run to the window and see people driving off honking their horns and see Pink Flamingos all over the line. And it went pretty much from, I think, a lot of the Trailwood guys' house from one to the other. And I think the Edwards might have started this, I, I, I presume. They're not here tonight, probably for a good reason, huh? <laughs> um, but the, uh, just to show you how things have changed a lot, we were actually driving to the airport when we were getting ready to fly out here a few days ago. And as we were going by, we saw one of our neighbors, whose kids are just a little bit older than ours, and the whole front lawn was uh, filled with Pink Flamingos. So I think it's spread. Thanks Thanks everybody for coming tonight. And happy birthday. <laughs> oh. John, how you been? I'm John Cooper, and I do have to know him because he's my uncle. For <laughs> 40 years, and that's short as well. Yeah, thank you, John. Yes. Uh, I'm Dorothy Douglas, and Michael stole my word. Because I didn't have a choice either. Wow. <laughs> Ruth Ann is Mary's sister-in-law. Mary's your so, sister. And, yeah, Mary's my sister. <laughs> my sister married her brother. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> but what did you do besides play golf and sing in the choir? <laughs> and drink, and drink coffee. And anywhere sometimes. And oh, drink, drink coffee. coffee. Uh, drink, drink coffee. coffee. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Go on hikes. Go on hikes. Pumpernicks. Okay. Okay. I'm Maggie Cormack, and um, I've known Will since high school. So if you want to know anything, just yeah. come to me. I need to talk to you. <laughs> these three are sisters. Yeah, and she's the only one, but she's the one I hang out with. Yeah. Well, Ruth could tell some stories too. <laughs> Church camp. Yeah. I remember. Ron, you want to speak for us? Yeah. I'm Mary Pippert, and that's my husband behind the camera. He's always behind the camera. And uh, that's brother and sister, and that's how I know him. And he came with the package. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Part of the deal. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thanks. And the two standing up. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> I, we've got you all, baby. As far as how long we've known Will Owens. We've known him since the day he entered this world. <laughs> and uh, he's been my cousin, my blood, my brother, my choice. Uh, we've ridden horses together, we've climbed in the hay loft, we've, we've swam together, we've ridden bicycles, we've uh, jumped off high dives and, and dared each other to do this and everything. So. And it's, as I was explaining to the young lady tonight, she said, how will I recognize him when he comes in this room? I said, when you see the best looking 70 year old <laughs> 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 And my name's Shirley Rose. <laughs> yeah. And by the way, I'll pay for it. <laughs> and tell him how far you came tonight. We came from Little Rock, Arkansas. All right. Well, I'm, I'm one of the witches. Uh, but actually, uh, Will is my nephew, and I love him very much. I was so happy to get to come and celebrate his birthday. I still keep trying to beat him at golf, but maybe he, he'll probably shoot his age this year, so I'm out of luck. <laughs> 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 Happy birthday, Will. 
Give him another 20 years. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know how I'd do it then. The one story she didn't tell, Shirley, Shirley mentioned it, but the three of us are so close to age that it was like they're my sisters, and we used to do some interesting things, and and uh, Shirley and I'd go hide, and she'd be yelling, "Where are you guys?" Run off, and, uh, run off We got on we got on a horse one time. I remember a bareback, all three of us, and it was a big wide thing, and, and we were. We were going down the road, and all of a sudden, all three of us this way. <laughs> right. So, and then, uh, and then, of course, Virginia is not very uh, uh, competitive at all. I mean, you know, she just she doesn't add. But uh, I remember one time we went swimming uh, in Fort Smith, Arkansas, as I recall. I remember that. And either. and I was diving off a high dive, and and uh, she said, "Well, I could do that." And so she gets up there on that high dive, and she dove out there just like this, and she came down just like that. And she was red from head to toe. And I was on the far side of the pool, and I heard this. He got the biggest laugh over that, and never, ever let me forget that I dived off and did a belly buster. <laughs> and I have just a few messages from a few people that couldn't be here tonight. Uh, the Goldsmiths, and those are the Okay. And then um, the Stolhans, Ray and Melissa Stolhan, um, their first grandchild to be baptized tomorrow in Chicago. So oh, that's great. Here, two months old. And um, the Nyes were coming, and a lot of you don't know the Eric and, and um, Lynn Nye, but they lost a son and we lost a daughter, and that's how we met them. And they've been really good friends since. And they were coming, and, and then she called yesterday, and you'll all be glad to hear they're not here because they had the flu. <laughs> <laughs> they came home from Atlantis in the Bahamas with the flu, so that was not fun. Uh, the uh, Edwards really wanted to be here because, you know, he's the one who got us on this flamingo thing, I think. <laughs> and he also danced with you, I'm sure, at the last party. And, um, but they had a business trip already planned a long time ago. But they said to, that he remembers, it said it just couldn't be that long since you guys coached a bunch of little five-year-olds chasing yeah. the soccer ball all over the yeah. field. Well, it, yeah. was, it was a bunch of kids with the ball going up like this, <laughs> and then there was one guy who we knew could dribble the ball a little bit, and we just said, get it to him, get it to him. And, and then the Pitsies are the other ones. And the Pitsies. Yeah, happy birthday, and they're so sorry yeah. they couldn't be here. But Remember that one yeah. game? We, they want you to go first to eat. I know. Kind of Everybody. Funny. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll have plenty of time to talk. <laughs> 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 hey, well, we're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming. Hey, hey, Gene, the bar's still open. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you so much for coming. Uh, I know you all had better things to do than this. Well, especially with the game, with the game on. So and the we'll, game we'll try, and oh, hopefully, yeah. I don't know what score. 53 to 42. 53 to 42. So, so I'm making short and sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. Um, you're all dear friends. Thank you. Thank you.
over to hear the big map? No, I didn't. I don't know. You may have said it if you got called, but no. Which is this a regular? Or That's a regular. This is spicy. Do we want to switch? Closest to the. <laughs> anyway, I get it. Happy <laughs> birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Will. Happy birthday. Okay. Well, I'm going to blow this out. Okay. No, let's leave it. No, let's leave it. Can <laughs> we just leave it? No, you make a wish. Okay, I'll make a wish. I, I'll even tell you what my wish is. Okay. I wish that we all remain good friends like this for as long as we're here.
Sweet tomato. Sweet tomato. Oh, this is for Ruth Ann. Oh, there. That was a funny. You young whippersnapper. You are a whippersnapper. It only goes to first chapter and all the rest are blank. No, I'm kidding. Ruth, this is for you. I'm not here yet. Oh, you're headed. Oh, yeah, I may not make you're it. getting there. Care of the elderly. Did I tell you about that? <laughs> Junior and Dick, all right. Ah. All right, look at that. Well, I'm all fixed up now. I don't know what to do with them, but yeah. thanks. It's a game. It's a game. It's a game. It's a game. Gossip trivia. See? Okay. What do you do? Gossip trivia. Huh? <laughs> yeah. to, before you get to be old and wise, you must first be young and stupid. <laughs> the McEachin. Thank you, McEachin. I tell you. Old guys need to play lots of golf and keep your mind but I, I'm sorry, my mind's not very alert. That's cute. Thanks, low trends. Yeah, that's all right. I know. Just taking a, just taking a moment from the breakneck breakneck pace of your whirlwind existence to wish you a happy birthday. Uh, now, thanks a lot, Ron Mary. You wrote that your 70th birthday. I didn't bring them. Happy birthday wishes on your special day. But I know it's really so on and so on. No, that's all right. Well, this is personal. <laughs> I just can't read it. That's too personal. <laughs> I guess a little. At any fine restaurant. This way, please. McDonald's. <laughs> Detach cock cockroach. <laughs> Place on plate before bell arrives. <laughs> <laughs> Only from Bob Coleman. <laughs> hey. Both of them. That's it. I'll bring that roach right over your place. <laughs> this has got me to shame it. Here anymore. But you still rock. Happy birthday, Paul and Nancy. That's cool. Good music. I tell you. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, no. That looks like an arc. Yeah. Don't worry about your 70th birthday. Oh, how? For you, that's just taking a good thing and making it one year better. Well, isn't that nice? Whoa. <laughs> Deep man. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, then it, it goes on to say, Myrna and Jean. Sorry, we can't get any more candles on the cake. Here's to a hole in huh, a hole in one kind of day. Wow, well, isn't that nice? Sharon and Jim. Aren't you nice? Uh, that's a nice card. <laughs> <laughs> They're nicer than the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs>
nice to have some nice friends. <laughs> oh, two of them. <laughs> oh, Lord. Your 70th birthday gives us a chance to do more was left to imagination when people enjoyed reading and singing together. Uh, okay. And then there's always this. There we go. And gathering around the warmth of a big fire. <laughs> Happy birthday. This shows the lady. Oh, fire's the cake. Yeah. Yeah. The cake with that. Thanks so much. And, uh, <laughs> golf ball in here. And have a happy day. A new lightweight golf bag. <laughs> Put your ball in here. It's, that's got to be from... Yes, it is. Yeah, I... I'm not even going to acknowledge you, Chuck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, <laughs> it's your birthday. Live dangerously. <laughs> June and Jean. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I want to turn around and go back. <laughs> Who's this one? Gene? Gene. Gene. Gene and Gene. Another one? Go ahead. Didn't want you, want you to forget it. <laughs> oh. Are you recording this one? Two friends ever been? Your dinner? Oh, that's cute. I thought so too. It was a nice poem. <laughs> Something you don't want to. <laughs> no, it was nice. Okay, you're another year older, but you're still a, oh, what's the word? Give me a second. It's on the tip of my tongue. Still. Macho. Macho. <laughs> John and Jill. My, my, my almost, well, he's. This guy is almost like he was here earlier. They had to leave early. Um, John McGrew and his wife. And uh, close to being as I've ever had a brother, I think. So. Neat people. <laughs> Oops. Sure. Sure. <laughs> I'll save that to last. Oh. Colorful years. <laughs> The years you've lived, the way you've lived them, all of it could only add up to one thing, and that's the vibrate, one-of-a-kind person, vibrant. <laughs> well, she just left. I mean, you know, we just went from R to X. You know, you not maybe able to perform even with Viagra, but... Um, Hmm, doesn't mean your mind is all gone, so... Uh, <laughs> Happy 70th birthday, uh, Jean and Marianne. Yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> no, speak for yourself. <laughs> oh, don't give me that. I know you well enough to know that you'd be the first in line. <laughs> Uh, isn't it nice that I have such a short name now that they don't have to spell the real one and they don't even know what it is? And that's good. Oh, whoa! Um, hmm, guys. Anyway, for you on your birthday, uh, this is a cake. You don't have to choose one or the other because. You can't have your cake and eat it too. <laughs> Happy birthday. Jean? Uh, wait a minute. Hang on. Don't be going spreading rumors like that. What? Gee, where is Which one is this? Jean which? Who? Who's this? Who's this? Just keep Me. holding it up, would you? Another one? You just don't give up, do you? But I know how you fantasize as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. 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 O
Morris High School class of 1956, the 25th reunion. Oh, the 25th reunion? Yeah, the 25th. Isn't that neat? Yeah, I can almost name some of the people. Well, I love and they headed out, if you guys know about the, uh, uh, what is it, the uh, train station out there that they redid? Yeah. I don't know what they call it. Yeah, but anyway. And that's where we had it, you know. And uh, everything was catered. And so we went walking up there, and nobody outside, but there obviously were people inside. And, and we walked up to the door, and uh, I peeked in, and I said, now this isn't it. And she said, what do you mean this and then I said, well, those are all old people in there. <laughs> you know. And as it turned out, it was like deja vu. If you've been to any reunion, it's always that way. It's just like, okay, so they're a little older, a little skinnier, or a little fatter, or a little whatever. First, second. 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 Let's second. This you, better, you better hand them to him. <laughs> they were John. Stand over and hand them to him. First, second. Even he wrote it on there. Even. You can't read. He knows. <laughs> yeah, too well. Too well. Okay. Play hard. Learn lots of. Dream big. Live happy. Mm. <laughs> Now, I used to know a girl whose name was Margaret, but somehow or other it's become Maggie. That's neat. Well, oh, that's what I need to first watch. Thank you. That's neat. No, that's second. First! Heard it. Open these. I hope I you got this thing glued in here. <laughs> hey, Will, I hope I never get that way. <laughs> <laughs> I have news for you. <laughs> the bad news, your vision <laughs> gets worse as you as you get older. <laughs> Thanks, John. <laughs> the good news, you can't see what happens to your body. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, man. Now, if you didn't read that, good. read that little note, you got to take it out and unfold it. How do you, how do you uh, know that, John? You're not that old. Laugh a day guy. He's, he's got my email address and he keeps sending me these little reminders. <laughs> Actually, some of them are pretty neat. Do you need, uh, need your glasses? I don't know. This might be big enough. <laughs> we hope that we printed this big enough <laughs> so that you can read the birthday message all by yourself. <laughs> at the age you are at now, the time has come, or maybe the time has already arrived. Either way, you may just be too embarrassed to accept the fact. We want to help you out. It's not a bad thing, Uncle Will. Everyone your age is facing the same feelings, but there comes a time in your life when you have to say, I just can't do it anymore. It's okay. Did you hear that? <laughs> anyway, that's, um, anyway, really, millions of people across the world have the same problem. It affects them at night. Morning, mornings even at noon when they go home for lunch. You try, but you can't do what you once could. Yes, it's embarrassing. That's why we got you these. Hopefully the embarrassing moments will not occur on the most romantic occasions. John, we're just going. It's wide open, isn't it? Love, John and Bob and family who regret not being able to be here to wish you a happy birthday on your 70th. And by the way, I'd share a quick story with you about that. Uh, my other nephew, who, whom I love as well as I do, John, uh, his, their daughter had a, uh, thank God, a near miss uh, that uh, she had to go to the hospital emergency room and, uh, the, and it was just getting worse apparently. And I'm just, just correct me if I'm wrong about this, but. Anyway, they couldn't find a vein, couldn't find a vein, couldn't find a vein. Finally did, and it turned out that she is diabetic. And that, uh, and that, 
have gone up to 600. Oh, oh mm. my. So, anyway, but mm. they have it up until I understand. So, everybody said. She got home today. And she got home today. So, everybody she's thank God grade. for that and uh, say a little prayer for, for them. Yeah, she's a real. Well, the whole family's sweet. You can tell now. So You were the famous. Read the back side on the back side. Yeah. 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 Acts as an anti diuretic. What is this? <laughs> California uh, wine people in the Napa Valley area, which primarily produces you know, Pinot Blanc, however you pronounce it, so on. Mm. Wines have developed a new hybrid grape that acts as an anti-diuretic. It is expected to reduce the number of trips older people have to make to the bathroom during the night. The new wine will be marketed as Pinot Noir. <laughs> Ready for number two? <laughs> <laughs> I think I don't think it's very simple. Yeah, this is, this is I'll read that one too. Will you? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to read it. You're up all night. You are not right in my unit. <laughs> <laughs> you have no sense in that. You'd be dead. All right, now that you can be dependable, <laughs> let's see how you fit into this. With the last love, John, Bob, Garen, Randy, Brenna, and Jessica. Happy 70th. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Even now, folks are finding out just <laughs> how crazy our family really is. <laughs> uh, they're all good people. I just can't Stand get it tonight. <laughs> Poor house. <laughs> what? No, it doesn't say that really. <laughs> New theater gift certificate. Thanks, John. That's great. And whatever else this is. What is this? Just a map out here. All right. That's how to get there. Point A and point B. Yeah, okay. One, two. All right. John, you get the hand for all of that. That's, that was great. Yeah. Yay! I'm with FYI, they, they don't ship these things, so I had to come in from Little Rock, pardon me. Well, I just yeah. recognize what the heck that is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that one, you sucker. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going there, buddy? Oh, you oh, 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 cool. oh, oh, yeah. Just rolled in from uh, a... Uh, party at Little Rock, as a matter of fact, and I thought, well, what the heck, I don't have anything better to do for the next eight hours. <laughs> so, uh, you know, like, my wife called and said, you've got to get off the highway, there's this crazy man driving the wrong way. I said, there's a, no, there's not, there's like 500 of them driving the wrong way. <laughs> but that job stank. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, I just came to do the uh, birthday party hat. It's her son, by the way, stand up. <laughs> She's responsible for this. And yeah. I had no earthly idea. I left him a little. Oh, by the way, I haven't been able to get a hold. You've got a call at your house. Uh, you've got 900 calls. And because no, all of a sudden, I'm sh I'm at 95th and oh, yeah. I'm at Metcalf, and they're going, and they're I'm in a party, and they're all disappointed. And I want them to stop. And finally, and I'm thinking, well, there's a Hooters. Uh, <laughs> And I, I swear, I was headed to Hooters, and I had the hotel, and I was, uh, I was getting ready to go to Hooters. So, okay, but now, hold on. Oh, oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you, you know how often those pop? I'm afraid to ask. Once. That's it. That's true. Well, I'm not telling a lie. 
Occasionally, they let me on TV when they run out of really good guests. I was going to be a hairdresser. <laughs> Just like Uncle Will. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see here. I wanted to be a doctor, but I didn't have any patients. <laughs> I know the feeling. Yeah. Holly, where's your son? Oh, oh hey, hey, there he is. I had to do a doctor joke. I've been waiting to do that all day. I've been thinking about that. I've got something I wanted to talk to you about later. <laughs> not, in front, up not in front of anybody. I know what your specialty is. So. You know what your specialty is. Yeah. 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 So. Oh, yeah, this is just getting to be started. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. This, is, this is when it gets good. Uh, uh -oh. Let me tell you what. I, it started off, it was a warm day, and the top was down in the car. It was beautiful, and my ears are about froze off now. Uh, so if I can't hear you. <laughs> and then the girl was also half naked, but anyway. Well, you should have got here sooner. She it? looks a lot better. Yeah. I heard. I'm going to make her one in a minute. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot smaller. <laughs> well, that's lovely. Well. Wow. 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 I will. Well, I will. Well. Mr. American. Would, would anybody like to say, I, I hate to drive all this way and not do one magic trick. Can I yeah, do one? Oh, yeah. yeah. It'll be all right. Yeah. All right. One trick. Um, I'm gonna, have you, there's some people in here that could you make them disappear? And I know that you're getting old, and that's what old people do, so here's some something for you to do, Larry. Oh, yeah. bingo. Bingo. How about that? And those are mine. I lost a button. And, okay, that's just mine. Okay, fears and phobias. So we have a lot of dollar range helping them get their first first time home buyer money. So that's what I do during the day. So, anyway. So I get to do important stuff during the day, and then I get to do this silly stuff at night. And, uh, <laughs> And people, you know, bring me in mostly to, to I actually did this for a, a, a real, a real person. <laughs> so, anyway, I'll leave y'all and let the birthday boy have the Just a minute. One, one last thing for me before we go. Being related, you can't sue me. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I'll, I'll see you somewhere, church or school or somewhere, uh, YMCA, golf course, golf course whatever. Coffee. All right. Coffee. Because I really enjoyed having I enjoy having you for friends, and I appreciate you coming out tonight. Okay. Thank you.